The Asian University for Women's inaugural symposium and meetings opened on Wednesday, October 15, 2008 in Chittagong, Bangladesh. The theme of the three-day event was Overcoming History, Rethinking Rights, and Opportunities for Women in Asia. More than 1,000 guests, including dignitaries, foreign diplomats, internationally renowned experts, students, staff, media, and special guests attended the symposium to take part in the inauguration of the first university of its kind, a regional institution of the highest quality dedicated solely to women's education and leadership development. It is international in outlook, but rooted in the context and aspirations of people across Asia. It offers an educational paradigm that combines liberal arts education with graduate professional training. The symposium opened with a dinner at the future site of AUW's permanent campus, where guests explored the spectacular land donated by the Bangladeshi government and heard presentations on AUW's architecture, design, and structural plans. Possible extent, and really, it's really a garden campus. It's really, I think, the key to what we're doing here is to uh, create this uh, work with the water, work with the land. At the Radisson Hotel in the country's capital of Dhaka, attendees gathered to hear a series of presentations from panels of internationally renowned speakers. Among them was a session entitled Womenomics and Ethics, the Human and Economic Cost of Discrimination Against Women. It is our growing resistance to gendered power and violence which offers hope for a meaningful change. What I and many of my fellow friends from the Support Foundation witnessed yesterday in the hallways, in the classrooms, was nothing short of miraculous. Students shared their incredible stories and inspirational accounts of how they came to the Access Academy in a session entitled, Inspiring Change, Reflections on Women's Leadership. To everyone who has worked to create this opportunity for me and my friend at the Assess Academy, thank you. We are fortunate to be a part of the university. This has truly changed my life and will give me the chance to extend the AUW missions in my own country in the future. At a dinner reception, representatives from Stanford University of the United States and Alborg University of Denmark expressed their enthusiasm and excitement for the contributions they have been able to make towards the Asian University for Women. On behalf of Alborg University and our lessons learned so far, I would like to express that Alborg University is especially honored to partner with Asian University for Women to help and to learn about how to promote an international dialogue and academic partnerships that benefit both students, the academic community, as well as a global civil society. We are honored to be able to add Stanford support to the contributions that others are making to AUW. In the fall of 2009, Stanford will send two of our bright, brightest young scholars to join your faculty for one year postdoctoral fellowships. The Asian University for Women's inaugural ceremony took place at the Bangladesh-China Friendship Conference Center in Dhaka with Dr. Muhammad Yunus, founder of the Grameen Bank and winner of the 2006 Nobel Peace Prize as chief guest, and the Honorable Fakhruddin Ahmed, former chief advisor of the caretaker government of Bangladesh, presiding over the ceremony. Today, we meet to commemorate yet another beginning, and this one is very special. Today we mark the installation of our academic leadership and the start of our academic programs. We are realizing a dream by giving promising women from rural disadvantaged regions and refugee populations from all over Asia a higher education and leadership training. New possibility, there will be given new possibilities for the people in the poor regions. The focus of AUW will be on critical reasoning, problem solving, communication, leadership. We want graduates who can make a difference, who can embed themselves across the region in the private sector, in the public sector, and change things. With this broad education, 
our graduates will become informed, flexible thinkers and lifelong learners with a strong foundation of knowledge, skills, and experiences that will enable them to reason, to make ethical choices, to recognize the importance of the past, and work towards a better future. And we see within this university, we not only we end the education divide for the poor girls and the rich girls, they end the cultural divides. That a university dedicated to the education and empowerment of women in a part of the world where too often women have been relegated to the periphery carries with it a transformative power. The inaugural ceremony concluded with the students of the Axis Academy performing traditional dances from each of the countries represented in AUW student body. It was a display of color, beauty, diversity, and unity put on by the women who will one day carry the university and their regions to a promising future.